pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for the Tiger Pledge. Today, I will try my best, imagine my possibilities, and give respect. I'll be eager to learn, realize my worth, and smile every day. Now for the guy went for success. Focus. Focus on the positive, intent, practice positive intent, safety, keep it safe, helpfulness, be helpful to others, encouragement, you can do it, respect, show respect to others and myself. Now for the moment of silence. A Little Spot of Responsibility, a story about making good choices. Hi, my name is Spot, and I'm not just any ordinary Spot. I'm a little spot of responsibility. I'm here to help you make good choices. I've never seen a responsibility spot before. I want to make good choices. Every time you make a good choice, your responsibility spot grows, and it makes you feel more confident and happy. That's why I'm going to show you some ways you can make good choices to grow your responsibility spot. Did you know you have the power to make choices? We all want to make choices that have positive outcomes, and that's why I made this little decision chart to help you decision chart. Stop and identify the problem. 
gather information, think about the positive and negative consequences, make a choice, reflect on the outcome. <coughs> You are going to experience a lot of choices in your life. Some decisions are easy and some are not. But in order to have the best chance of making a good choice, you should try to use the decision chart. Let's see how the decision chart works on a choice you make every day, like what you should wear. Stop. Problem. You aren't sure what to wear. Information. It's pretty cold outside. If you wear shorts, you might get cold. Choice. You wore warm clothes. Reflection, it was a great choice because you weren't cold. Woohoo! Adults have the ability to predict consequences you can't yet. They can do this because they've been making choices a lot longer than you have, which gives them a lot of experience. They have a lot of knowledge that can help you make good choices. That's why it's important to consider what adults say. It says, baby has made a thousand choices, a child, 10,000 choices, an adult, a hundred thousand choices, and the elderly, one million choices. <clears throat> That's a lot of choices. Can I have a puppy? Sometimes you may want to take on a big task and need the help of an adult to make a choice, but they may not agree with what you want to do. It's a good choice to start off with some responsibility with something that doesn't require as much responsibility like getting a plant instead of a puppy. Puppies need feeding, bathing, walking, training, etc. and your responsibility spot may not be big enough yet. Caring can grow your responsibility spot. Playing games is a lot of fun. It's a good choice to play by the rules and not cheat. Honesty can help you grow your responsibility spot. You shouldn't leave your toys out because they can get damaged easily. It's a good choice to put things back in their place and not just throw them in a closet. It lets people know that you can put things away properly. Being reliable can help you grow a responsibility spot. Try to do something for someone where you don't expect a reward in return. It's a good choice to help clean up even if you didn't make the mess because it's nice to help. Kindness can help grow a responsibility spot. How did this mess get so big? I'll help you clean it up. Sometimes it's easy to blame other people for the choices you make. It's a good choice to accept responsibility for your actions, even when it's hard to do. When you do this, you gain respect from others. Trust can help grow your responsibility spot. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to knock over the vase. Look around and be aware of your surroundings. It's a good choice to do things before you are told, like throw toys away when you are done using them. Being proactive can help grow your responsibility spot. We all want things to last a long time, and we don't want to be injured while using them. It's a good choice to practice scissor safety, poke holes in erasers, and keep the eraser on the pencil. And the scissor safety says, sit while cutting, pass scissors handle first, hold blade down when walking, walk slowly when holding scissors. Respecting things can help grow your responsibility spot. Click caps so markers and glue don't dry out. Use as instructed so they don't get damaged. Clean up your area when you're done so nothing gets lost. A calendar is a great tool to help you remember dates. It's a good choice to turn in assignments when they are due. Staying organized can help grow your responsibility spot. Showing up when you are supposed to is a great way of demonstrating you value other people's time. It's a good choice to be on time to a school event, to, to school, an event, or an activity. Being punctual can help you grow your responsibility spot. When you have a lot of tasks to complete, it can be easy to forget a couple of them. It's a good choice to create a list so you can remember to complete each task you agreed to do. 
being dependable can help grow your responsibility spot. Feed the fish, set the table, return the library books. If you are feeling pressured to do something you think is wrong, it's a good choice to say no. Courage can help you grow your responsibility spot. Sometimes your emotions can get pretty big. It's a good choice to guide your big emotions to a peaceful spot. This not only helps you, but the others around you too. Managing your emotions can help grow your responsibility spot. There are a lot of things that you could do for yourself in instead of having your caregivers do for them, do for you. It's a good choice to try and get yourself dressed, make your bed, and turn off the lights. Taking initiative can grow your responsibility spot. Sometimes it's hard to remember to do things like your homework. It's a good choice to have a schedule so you know what needs to be done every day and at what time. Like doing your homework as soon as you get home so you don't forget. Creating a routine can grow your responsibility spot. It's important to take care of your body. It's a good choice to eat well, keep clean, and get plenty of rest. This shows that you care about yourself. Being healthy can grow your responsibility spot. We all want to stay well. It's a good choice to cover your mouth when you cough. Being courteous to others by not spreading germs can help grow your responsibility spot. It says use soap and wash your hands after using the bathroom. Okay, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed learning how to grow your responsibility spot. I actually have some other spots I'd like you to meet as well. We all belong to the happiness family. Respectful, thankful, honesty, organization, courage, patience, and kindness. The end. Today we're gonna to talk about stress. Stress is the physical aspect of anxiety. It shows up as headaches, muscle tension, stomach problems, and it really gets in the way of us doing our best. Let's take a second just to check in. I want you to notice the tension. You have tension in your back, your shoulders, your jaws, your face. Just notice where you feel that tension. And then I want you to relax. Relax, relax. <laughs> that probably didn't work, did it? In fact, it probably made it even worse. When we start noticing we're stressed and we try to control it, we're pushing it away. We get stressed about being stressed. It's called the paradox of emotion. The more we try to make something go away, the more we magnify it. Okay, think of our emotions like this. Like they are a toddler. A toddler or a student trying to get your attention. A toddler will go, mommy, 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 mommy. Or a student will go, teacher, teacher, teacher. And if we ignore them, then they just get louder. But if we take a few minutes, a few seconds to acknowledge them and notice them, then they'll calm down. They'll get out what they need to tell you and then they'll move on. So now I just want you to notice or acknowledge your feeling. Try this. We're going to notice and lean into our feeling. So if it's tension or stress in our bodies, then we're gonna make that tension even stronger. And it's just like the drain. So when we do the drain, we put our arms out in front of us, we tense up our arms, we raise our shoulders to our ears and we breathe in. And then we let all that tension go. And let's do that again, we're gonna do it twice. And this time I really want you to tense up your body and then relax it. Here we go, breathing in. Tension, 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 and let it all go. One more time. Breathing in. And relax. Emotions don't respond well when we try to dismiss them, or we ignore them, or we avoid them. So next time you're feeling a big emotion, just notice it, acknowledge it. 
And in doing that, it's the first step to dealing with it and helping you get back to whatever it is you were needing to do, whether it's teach or learn or even just getting along with your friends. Hope this was helpful today. If there's another emotion you want to talk about or tell me about a way that you release your tension or acknowledge your feelings, just shoot me an email and let me know or tell me in the hallway. Bye. You know what to do. Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. It's, it's time, time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. To goodbye. Give away and wink your eye. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Bloody. Bloody. I gotta see adios, amigos. I gotta see adios, amigos. Es tiempo de decir adios, es tiempo de decir adios. I gotta see adios, amigos. Goodbye, friends. See you later, alligator.